Welcome to Talking Straight. I'm Suresh Kochatal. One of the favorite subjects that opposition leaders try and pull down Prime Minister Narendra Modi is about the employment, or rather the lack of it. The opposition leaders and many sold-out media claim that Modi ji promised two crore jobs and he has done nothing. I looked around to see if there are any videos specifically where Modi ji had said this or a written document of BJP by way of a party manifesto or any of the things that they claimed about the two crore jobs. But there was nothing. If any of you have seen such a video specifically where Modi ji talks about two crore jobs being provided by his party, I would request you to post them in the video link in the comment section below this video. I did find one such claim in the 2018 manifesto of a party called the Indian National Congress where the party promised to provide one crore jobs every year. If that is not the promise, then Congress should have provided by now 60 crore jobs in the last six decades that they ruled the country. A country's population is now 135 crores. Modiji spoke of facilitating employment and not giving out government jobs. In fact, there is no proof of what Modiji said about the jobs as I had mentioned before. And now let's come down to the claim that unemployment is rampant in India and that it's at its highest under the BJP rule. Well, not really sure. Here again, there are no facts. Predominantly and predictably, there is no data that is presented by those criticizing Modi ji. It is just plain claim, people don't have jobs. My question is, how do you define a job? For many people, including the opposition leaders, that a government job is a job and the worst case scenario, a job in a PSU or a quasi-government sector. A private sector job, which is the biggest employer in India, does not count according to the opposition leaders, nor does any form of self-employment, which again provides the highest chunk of jobs in the country, is not counted. In fact, when Modi ji talked about selling pakoras, a lot of youth congress workers began to sell pakoras on the streets, which was actually an insult to the millions of families across India who make a living out of the same thing. The biggest employment sector in India is a farming sector. More than 15 crore Indians, particularly in the rural areas, have been farming for generations now. Over the years, the input cost, particularly the manpower or woman power, if you want to call it that way, has been going up. So has been the cost of fertilizers and seeds. To such an extent that farming today is a loss-making proposition in many states. The young generation does not see much hope in the farming and have been moving away to towns and cities in search of employment. There is a huge difference which many people are not able to make out. In many states, self-employment is considered something of a down market, while in some communities for whom business runs in the blood. According to the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, employment rate in India increased to 43.90% in the second quarter of 2022 from 43.40% in the first quarter of 2022. A minor change, but that is a major when you consider our population, the size of our population. Young men account for approximately 16% of the global workforce and young Indian women account for 5% of the same. An analysis of the Employees Provident Fund Organization data suggests that a significant acceleration in the formalization of the job market happened during the 2021. In November 2021, the monthly net additional EPF subscriber peaked at 13.95 lakh new subscribers per month, the highest since even given month since 2017. I always argue that employment is not just in the organized sector. It's also about self-employment and the micro and the small enterprises. Many people made fun of Modi ji when he talked about the Pakoda issue. And definitely, we saw many memes coming out including a few unemployable employers, MBAs, trying the hand at trying pakoras. Let's now look at the mudra loans that were launched by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in 2015 to benefit micro-entrepreneurs, which are generally considered proprietary concerns and individual businesses at the bottom of the entrepreneurial pyramid, seeking loans from as slow as 50,000 to 10 lakhs. 
the number of mudra loans sanctioned to self employed individuals and msme entrepreneurs that is micro small and medium entrepreneurs over the last 8 years under the modi government stood at 35 crore people 35 crore yes assuming that even one of this 35 crore entrepreneurs had employed one more person they have naturally got a, even it's a small shop in his unit the total number of employment generated would be at the minimum 70 crores while the number of women beneficiaries of the mudra scheme was 23 crores the number of mudra loans sanctioned to just the women entrepreneurs accounted for 8 lakh crore in addition loans to women under the startup india was 24800 crores and 46% of the government recognized startups were led by women definitely there's a big message in this the pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana a skill certification scheme enables a large number of indian youth to take up the industry relevant skill training that will help them in securing better livelihood individuals with prior learning experience or skills will also be assessed and certified under the recognition of prior learning pmkvy is an example how the government is trying to skill young men and women so that they can stand on their own feet or at least find employment in bigger companies now comes the latest data which proves that employment is on the rise as i spoke about earlier the employee provident fund act data actually shows in november 2020 that 16.82 lakh members joined up that is in the month of september alone 2022 year on year comparison of the payroll data reflects an increase of 9.14% in net membership addition of 2022 as compared to the corresponding month of 2021 which brings me back to the question what's a job it's a person trying to make a living through a trade or she is good at that she is good at not all jobs are government jobs or private sector as i told you before there are millions of entrepreneurs in our country startups and of course a huge agricultural sector which i spoke about earlier today you can get a software engineer easily but try and get a plumber an electrician or a carpenter it's time that we generate youngsters who get the skills that the industry is looking for no churning out millions and millions of graduates with no specific skills india today has a problem of employment not unemployment thank you for watching jai hind please subscribe to nationalist hub english channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to like and share this video nationalist hub it's a news revolution